The news continues right now on News Channel 5, on your side. The victims shouldn't be forgotten about it, okay? They need to do something with the victims. You know, actually, the anniversary is coming around. In fact, today marks one year since the start of the Anthony Sowell trial, the trial that sent the serial killer to death row. In the past year, Sowell's home, the home where the bodies of 11 women were found, has been torn down. But as News Channel 5's Dave Arnold found out, the neighborhood has a long road of recovery ahead of it. To find out what was happening right, basically in our backyard, it was a like real shocking for everyone who would have ever thought that it would be right here. Few neighborhood families have had to endure that which those living on Imperial Avenue have seen and smelled. It still got that distinct smell. They have lived here with the sobering thought that the man living at 12205 had the eyes of a serial killer. They witnessed a crime scene like no other. And finally, the days in court that led Anthony Sowell to death row. That infamous house is now gone, an empty lot. But it's an empty lot that children in this neighborhood simply do not play on. They don't play in this a lot at all. The people don't let the kids come around here. I just teach, teach her to be careful about who she's with, who she's around. It's just a sense of danger that you just don't want to be around. A year after the trial, Jamaica High still holds the hand of her baby sister Christian a little tighter. A sad lesson learned to pass on. It's an eye opener. Women are being more careful, more conscious, like more more conscious about where they go, who they talk to, who they go home with, and who they meet. Life here has gone on. Children still play. Some rebuilding, some not. But it's not likely to ever be the same in the air here. I think it might be a little tension in the air, but uh, I think every, pretty much everyone's gone about their everyday life. Yeah, so what it's called, yeah, the house is gone, but it's still the remembrance around here, and it's going to be like that for the next 20, 25 years. A trial's anniversary solemnly celebrated. This is really tense. I mean, there's still tense about around here with that. You don't know a person just by the way they act one day. They can have a whole different life at night. I don't think I'll ever forget. I don't think I'll ever forget what happened on the street. In Cleveland, Dave Arnold, News Channel 5. Thank you, David. Now an update on Anthony Sowell himself. He is appealing his sentence. Right now, the prosecution and defense have until October 1st to submit their cases to the Ohio Supreme Court. Anthony Sowell had been scheduled to die October the 29th. However, Ohio Supreme Court granted him a temporary stay pending the outcome of the appeal.